additives are the materials added in small quantities to the molding sand in order to enhance their existing properties and to impart some special properties as well. There are different types of additives ranging from wood powder to coal powder, dextrin starch to sawdust and some miscellaneous type of additives like fuel oil, cereal, iron oxide and molasses. Let's understand them one by one. First being the wood powder. This kind of additive is used to improve the collapsibility and porosity of mole sand. Now what is this collapsibility and porosity? Collapsibility is the ability to collapse because at the end of the casting process you have to break the mold and if the mold collapses easily then we will say the collapsibility of the molding sand was good and the collapsibility can be enhanced by using additive like wood powder. And what is this porosity? Porosity is actually permeability. It is eventually the breathing ability or the breathing property of the molding sand. Next we have coal powder. The coal powder as an additive improves the refractoriness of the molding sand. Now the refractoriness is a property of retaining strength at extremely high temperature because we are going to pour molten metal into the mold and if the mold, if the mold material is unable to retain its strength during such a severe conditions, the whole process, the whole setup will collapse. Next we have dextrin or what we call starch. This kind of additive is used to improve the strength of the molding sand just like the coal powder. The sawdust increases the gas permeability and deformability of molds and cores. Next kind of additives are certain miscellaneous kind of additives. First we have the fuel oil which improved the moldability of sand. Then we have foundry cereal which is actually a finely ground corn flour or corn starch in a composition of 0.25 to 2 percent. It increases the green and dry strength of the molding sand. When we are going to study about the properties of molding sand you will come to understand about green and dry strength. Next we have iron oxide kind of miscellaneous additive which develops in increasing the hot strength. And last but not the least molasses. Molasses is the byproduct of sugar industry. It eventually enhances the bench life of sand and imparts high dry strength and collapsibility to mold and cores.